Well, hello chaps, it's Commodore Graham here and welcome back to the second part of my basic tutorial on how to play Terra Firma Craft. Now, last time we got ourselves together some of the basic necessaries, a bit of food, some javelins in case we need to do ranged combat, uh, knives, axes, shovels, bunch of logs, that kind of thing, some straw, we need all of these things. Um, now the next thing that we need to uh, address is pottery. I'm probably going to need some more food at some point, but we have some some more seaweed over there we can grab, I suppose. I also notice... Oh, wait a minute. We have some... Well, that's not what I meant to do. We have some... Um... Fresh water right here. Oh, no, it's not fresh water. This bit is, though. So we can... Um replenish our stock of water uh, as we I think noticed last time it's it's very slow um, but we're going to fix that yes we are so what we require now yeah let's just pick up rocks as we go we might need them uh, what we require now is pottery and we're lucky enough to have already found clay we need a whole bunch of this, so uh, I'll probably just do a little bit of a time lapse whilst I grab this. Ah, we seem to have run out. However, I'm pretty sure there was some more close by. Ah, here we go. If you remember from last time, uh, the presence of clay is given away by these goldenrod flowers here. Where you find goldenrod, you always find yourself some clay. And uh, so, let the time lapse recommence. Okay, we have ourselves a couple of stacks of, um, of clay now. So, we can proceed to the next, next stage, uh, which involves turning this clay into pottery. Well, first, I should probably grab some more straw. And logs, for that matter. So back to time-lapsing. Time-lapse a go-go. Okay, we had to take a little bit of a break to gather some more food, and as we uh, as we did so, night fell, unfortunately. So what we're going to have to do now, to be safe, is block ourselves in for the night in our lovely little shack. And um, we can set about making some of the clay moulds we need. Oh, by the way, uh, I should turn... Every time you end, go underwater, there's a bug that the ambient sounds uh, get turned up. So I'll turn those down so they can become somewhat less obnoxious. Now then, uh, one of the main uses for um, gathering clay to make pottery is to increase your storage space. That's just one of them, um, but it is very useful indeed. So one thing that you can do... Oh, whoops. Messed that up. I'll try that again. You can make a large clay vessel. Now, this can be put in kind of this hidden backpack slot. So it's, in effect, it'll be a backpack that gives you a, f a few extra slots you can put things in. So we'll need to make one of those. Um, actually, can you put that in your backpack slot already? You can. That's interesting. Um, if I put it on the... But I can't put it on the ground. You need to turn it into uh, a ceramic vessel first rather than just being made out of wet clay, I suppose. Uh, other things that we're going to require. Um, we're going to need clay vessels. Now, we only have so much space in our inventory for carrying these at the moment, unfortunately. So... Um, I guess I'll make four. Uh, 
Uh, th- there's a reason I'm I'm making four instead of making five. Uh, when you make uh, a pit kiln in order to um, in order to what's the word in order to fire all of this clay, uh, you can fit four things in at once. Except if it's one of these large vessels, you can only fire one of those at once in a pit kiln. But uh, I don't think there's really anything else to do at this point. So I guess I'll cut uh, until the night is over. See you in a second. Right. Daytime seems to be approaching. So let's get ourselves out of here. I lit the fire. Oh, wait a second. Let's do this with a hammer to get a few more sticks. I lit the fire in order to get some more torches, but then I realized I had hardly any sticks. <laughs> uh, so I only managed to make two initially, but but there we go. There's a few more. Ooh, pretty. Uh, maybe we should be taking a screenshot right here. How about that? Okay, right. Time to get to work. Now, grab a little bit of food. If we can. Where did it go? Ah, right, okay. That's fine. And now we get to turn this down again. Right, so let's get to making our pottery. Now this is, it's very simple um, what you have to do in order to fire your clay molds. All you need is holes like so. Oh, looks like I don't have any inventory space. That's fine. And then you shift right click like so. Now, remember, I said the large vessels, you can only put one of those in a pit kiln. But these ones, these these clay vessels that we made here, you can actually fit four of them in there. And all I'm doing here is shifting and right clicking to place them. Ooh, it's a daisy. And then to fire them, you need uh, you need some fuel. The first thing you do is you put in eight pieces of straw, followed by eight logs. Oops. There we go. And you can light them in one of two ways. Firstly, you can use a fire starter. There you go. Or you can throw a torch on there. And that works just as well. Now we actually want more than uh, more than two pit kilns going, because what I'm also going to do is make uh, vessels for carrying water. Uh, that do, do, do. So let's set about that. I'll show you how that's done. See if I can remember this correctly. You take off this one here, this one here, then you make. A little handle like this. There you go. So, clay jerks. Um, so, I'm going to make um, just two of those to start off. And uh, we can also, tell you what, why not, let's make a couple of balls, which you can use for making salads if you have the requisite uh, food materials. It uh, doesn't hurt to have some. So we do exactly the same thing. Four items will fit in one pit kiln. And then we add eight logs and I'm going to use the fire starter again so as not to waste a torch. Come on. Oh, it just managed to get it done right at the end there. So, um, I'm going to actually make another, just, just one more. Give me that. Uh, I'm going to make some more clay vessels. And then what? Let's think about this. Actually, just, yeah, another, whoopsie daisy. There we go, four more clay vessels. 
because uh, this is going to increase our carrying capacity hugely. Uh, how it works is you can put the clear vessels uh, in your backpack, which is to say the large vessel. That's that's the one that serves as the backpack. So again, just bring eight pieces of straw in there and uh, eight logs and we'll use a torch this time because our fire starter is about to die. Uh, might as well throw it away at this point, to be honest. It's unlikely to successfully light anything. So, um, to fire all of this clay stuff is going to take us... Uh, well, it takes uh, eight in-game hours for each pit kiln. So we're going to have to wait. So I guess I will um, cut now to uh, when all of this stuff is ready. Oh, by the way, just as a bonus, let me show you this thing that I discovered whilst I was wandering around waiting for things to cook. Now, I believe that rhyolite rock is a kind of igneous rock, and you need this, actually. Uh, not quite yet, but later on. And uh, this particular piece of rock is harvestable, because, uh, I mean, we can't really break... Uh, these rocks because we don't have a pickaxe but we can break this and watch what happens see the piece of rhyolite fell what you need to do in order to get a piece of raw stone like that where, where did it go yeah you need to um, rem you need to uh, remove the blocks around it so there aren't any blocks directly adjacent so I'll, I'll do that again And there we go. Uh, now I think that this is uh, this rock is igneous rock, and you can therefore turn it into an anvil by right-clicking on it with a hammer. There you go. And we can't do anything with anvils right now, unfortunately. We don't have the requisite stuff. But um, if you ever come across a piece of rock like that that's easy for you to harvest early on, it might be worth grabbing. Right. Let's pop back. It seems that some of our pit kilns have finished firing their uh, the, their clay products. So, you just shift and right click. So now we have a large vessel. I'm going to put this down. If I click on solid storage, you'll see it has nine slots in it. I'm going to seal it now. You can seal and unseal like this. If you want to pick it up, you have to seal it first, otherwise it breaks, I think. So, and as you can see, it's instantly appeared in my backpack slot there, which uh, which is kind of an invisible slot. You kind of have to know it exists, <laughs> uh, which I didn't when I started playing this game. Um, so, we have some other stuff going on too. Um, all of these ceramic vessels here. Now, is there any dumb stuff we've picked up that we can drop at this point? Hmm. We don't really need these random pieces of sand. Seems like the sun's setting. Uh, these are balls. So I'm going to take this large vessel Oh, when you're carrying it in your hand, you can't walk around, you're overburdened. So I'm going to unseal this. And you can put these ceramic vessels inside. So now we have inventory space left for picking this stuff up. And I think these balls stack. Yes, they do. And I would really rather like it if... Um, hold on, let's take a screenshot. I would really rather like it if uh, this last one would finish cooking sooner rather than later so that we can get out of view of any nasties. Right. Great. And let's uh, put these in here. Here's our last one. Now we can seal it. We break it and it ends up on our back. Uh, so, as you can see, 
our carrying capacity is increased absolutely hugely. Oh, there, there don't seem to be any monsters around just yet, so... Except for that skeleton over in the water. Um, let's take this opportunity to fill our jugs with fresh water. I'm just right-clicking there. And then you can drink from the jug instead, and it replenishes far more at once. But uh, that's about as much time as we should be spending outdoors at night. At this early point in the game, we're sort of asking for a swift demise. So, um, again, if I take off this, uh, this large vessel off my back. I see I'm overburdened, I can't move, but I can put it down here and unseal it and have access to all of these ceramic vessels. I could even fit another one in here if I wanted. Now, the vessels themselves, if you right-click on one whilst it's in your hotbar, it has four slots. Now, if an item is particularly large, it won't fit in here. Like, you can't put logs in a ceramic vessel. Uh, you can't put logs in the large vessels either, so you, you have to carry those actually in your inventory. But there's a lot of other things, like I can fit a knife in there, but not a javelin, not an axe, but I can fit a hammer. It's, it's so... It, you sort of have to either know in advance or experiment. You can put axe heads in here, though. Even though you can't fit a shovel or an axe in, you can put axe heads and shovel heads. So you can carry those around to make it easy for you to, um, you know, uh, make new tools without having to carry lots of them around. Uh, water jugs won't fit in here. I think empty water jugs might, but... Uh, Hang on, we actually we can check that. Nope. So Yeah, it doesn't matter whether the jug's empty or not, they will fit in the large vessels. Uh you can you can fit the bamboo in here, which is slightly surprising, but you know, stacks of clay, stacks of dirt, uh sticks. Uh, straw and thatch. You can you can fit a whole lot of stuff in here. Our torch has gone out, so let's right click it with this torch just to get it lit again. So there's the deal. So the main thing to remember is uh, that you have to seal this before you break it. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you lose it. So there's a few things that we can put away for now. Um, we could put our our spare axe heads and knife heads in here. Um, we could um, put some spare clay away. Uh, we have two different kinds of rocks, so we could put away the... Uh, we could put... well, we could put away the bismuth, uh, bismuthinite, for instance, because we're not likely to pick up any more of that really soon. Um, and then when that's done, you can just pop it in here, and when you mouse over it, you can see what you have. It's fantastic. So I'll seal that. I like to keep it sealed unless I'm accessing it, just in case I accidentally break it without thinking and then lose all of my stuff. Uh, so I think that's going to be about it for this part of, of the tutorial slash guide series on Terra Firma Craft Reloaded. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do please, uh, you know, click the like button. It helps out rather a lot. Share this video with anyone you th think might be interested, entertained, informed, or educated, what have you. Uh, leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below and subscribe if, but only if, you'd like to see more. Ta-ta for now, chaps.